So, all right, hey, how's it going? My name is Art. Welcome back. Um, this is a rant. So, if you're looking for something different, you can always skip this video or you can watch this rant and let me rant and all sorts of stuff. I just got back from a store and a rest. I, you know, this morning I wanted to get something decent to eat. What do you mean by decent? Well, it all depends on you. I basically went to a restaurant that I go to sometimes. And, of course, there's lots of people talking and stuff like that. And, you know, of course, the owner of the restaurant says, hey, man, you got to wear a mask when you come in here. Blah, blah, blah. This one guy said, well, the CDC says, that. well, I don't give a shit what the CDC say. But you come in here, you were going to wear a mask. Are you fully vaccinated? Of course I'm vaccinated. Oh, okay. Prove it. Why do I got to prove that? Then if you can't prove it, then how do you know you're fully vaccinated? How do I know? See, that's the issue that's been going on with a lot of people. You look at me. Do I look like I'm vaccinated? No, I don't. And so what happens? The guy looks at me. He goes, do you believe that? Do you believe all that? Do you believe all that? I'm like, I'm like, believe in what, man? Blah, blah, this. I said, look, here's the thing. I said, what do you know about COVID? Well, I know it's blah, blah, blah. Well, if you eat, if you have a healthy diet and exercise and you eat right and live right, you won't get it. I said, really? Is that how it works? Really? Oh, there's a line. Is that how it works? That's, that's, is that how it truly works? Threw in four free Galaxy phones just for switching. Is that how it works? Okay. So I said, okay, so if that's how it works, then that means 60, at least 60% of all Americans are technically don't have good diet. They don't eat diets. They don't have good diets. They don't exercise. 60% of all Americans. That's a very freaking high percent. Is it 60 or is it 80%? I think it's pushing more towards 80 Look, when you go when you go to the store, like Walmart, Kroger, or any grocery store, look at people's baskets. How many people, when you look in their baskets, they're choosing healthy foods? How many of them? Not many. So that means out of the 10 to 20 people that you saw at Kroger or your shopping center, maybe one or two have healthy foods in their stuff. Thing is, is that America is not designed, doesn't design their meals for healthiness. It's designed for convenience. You, I said to him, you, my friend, you came into this room, you came into this restaurant for, for convenience. Why? Because you wanted to go out and get something to eat. You didn't want to stay home and cook. Now, true, I do love my man, the, the guy who owns it. I do love him to death. I've known him for almost 20 some years. I know him for almost, tw well, yeah, it's been almost 20 some years. I almost known him for almost 20 some years. Half the stuff in here is not healthy for you. Or it's potentially healthy, but what you do with it makes it unhealthy. It all depends. So what are you planning on eating today? I said, what did you eat? I said, I ate pancakes. Is pancakes healthy for me? No, not really, but they're damn filling. So that way I don't have to eat after eating these pancakes. Oh, shit. After eating these pancakes, I don't have to eat for like, I don't get to eat till like six o'clock. But if I ate some, uh, let's say if I ate three eggs scrambled, two slices of toast and some bacon, or sauces, the bacon and sausages would be the worst part of it, would be the worst part of the meal. And I might be hungry by three. Now, this is around about 10 in the morning now. As soon as I slap on that sausage or bacon, which I love both equally, that what makes it unhealthy. Ish. If I threw butter on that toast, 
that makes it unhealthy. If I throw jelly on that toast, that makes it unhealthy. If I put egg, I mean not eggs, if I put salt or pepper on those eggs, that makes it slightly unhealthy. See, what happened is that I said, my friend, See, you listen to the alphabet media companies and what happens, they'll tell you, they'll tell you the truth. They'll tell you the situation. They'll tell you the facts, but then they take those facts and spin it to their audience. So that means like, say, for example, Biden's the president right now. So that means everything that Biden does is bad. Even though what, if you really think about what Biden's doing, maybe some things might actually be good. But because you listen to them, it's bad. But then you say, think for yourself. Ex-President Trump, everything he did was good, even though some things he did was not so not the best, not the greatest. But everything he did was great because you believe that. That's what he, that's what they do. But anyway, that's your that's my opinion. I don't care where you are politically. I know political spectrum. I know conservatives. I know liberals. I know some of my, a lot of my conservative friends, they're pretty whacked out. Some of my liberal friends, only one or two of them are so whacked out. But the majority of them is right around what we call centrist. They're right in the middle where they can either go Democrat, conservative or liberal. But on this issue, it's not a political issue. It's a health issue. But the problem is since politicians, it's a health issue because it affects the whole nation. And since it affects the whole nation, political parties has to come in and try to do something about it. But the problem is, what do you do? Well, we can make a mask mandate. Well, the mask mandate... Can they do that to answer us? Yes, they can. They're the freaking government. They can do whatever they want. But even though we're free, we could do whatever we want too. So here's a question. Who's really right? Who's really wrong? So my friend, and I looked at you, I said, you look like you're like 260, 270. So since you're like 260, 270, your belly's all bulging out. You're kind of a little bit round and fat-ish. <laughs> right then and there, you're a good kind. You're a good candidate for COVID. Why? Because you're not eating healthy. You're not living right. Of course, you wanted to cuss me out. Of course he wanted to cuss me out because I just shot down his shit. But he had to sit and think about it. It's like, you know what? I didn't think of it that way. I said, of course you didn't. See, even though I listen to the alphabet media, both sides, I form my own film. I looked at, I also look at it independently. Plus, since I have a health issue, it def this would definitely affect me into a certain way. So if the if someone says wearing something like this will help me, even though I know realistically it really does not. True. Wearing a mask in the you know, wearing a mask in the gym, it does compromise my breathing. Of course it does. But then again, it also because you breathing less. You work out harder. The more exertion, so that means you're actually working harder. So when I'm when I'm lifting with this mask on, or my other face shield, the other face shield I can breathe easier. This one I can't. I'm using more exertion, which means I'm using muscles more, which means I'm getting a better workout. <laughs> if wearing something like this says that, basically. It's like a placebo effect or what they call the sugar pill effect. When they test a medication, they take a sample of people. They give people a placebo and see what it, 
does and they give people some people the real thing and they measure it out. So this is like a placebo effect. See, a lot of people look up and say, yours and this is a way to, for them to give get them control over us. Tell you the truth, my, tell you the truth, my friends, the government already controls you. See, freedom, there's a, are you truly free or is there, you have a, what you call illusion of freedom? What does that mean? When you drive, what's the speed limit? Is the speed limit 40 miles an hour? What happens if you drive 45 miles an hour? Well, you get a ticket. Then you're not free because guess what? If you drive more than 40 miles an hour, you're going to get a ticket. So you should be free to drive more than 50 miles an hour. Some people say, well, it, what, what? when you go to a restaurant, it says, or a store said, no shoes, no shirt, no service. We do that all the time. We don't, I mean, how many times you go to this? I can go into 7 Eleven. How many times you see some people? Now, was well, a health violation. Well, you got to think about it. Well, what if you wear a tank top? That's still a shirt. You could be sweating your balls off. I could be right here sweating my balls off, sweat dripping. That's technically a health violation if you really think about it, but we accept it because of the fact that the sweat stays here. It doesn't transfer. Interesting, right? Very, very interesting. But anyway, you say you can, if you're really, truly free, you can do whatever you want without repercussions. But if there's a repercussions, that means you, there's a law, ordinance, a mandate. So you're free as long as you follow these situations. So are you really free? The answer is no, you're not. And I'd say that to my friend at the restaurant. Well, he's not really my friend. I just call him a friend because I just say it. And he looks at me like, mm -hmm. some people look up and it's like, I never thought of it that way. I never thought of things that way. And I say, you know what? That's true. A lot of people don't. Because you want to fight, you want to fight what you what you see in front of you. But the thing is, is are you truly fighting for something, or are you just venting? I don't know. Wow, that was a really f screwed up rant. I was talking about one thing, switch to another, and switch. It's all connected to a certain extent in my mind. But thanks for listening to me rant. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. I did some videos that's um, hero click related. I'll put those out soon. Very soon. I did some comic book mystery box videos and those will be put out soon. There's a lot of things I want to get off my chest and that's why I'm doing these videos right here and just putting it out there. Hopefully somebody listen to it. Somebody hope somebody will agree with it. And I hope a lot of people disagree with it. I do. I'm not looking for an ideological argument. I'm just interested in letting shit off my chest. And if you agree with it, great. Let me know down below what you would you agree with. It. If you disagree, let me know down below. Maybe you could change my mind. Maybe see a di totally different light. And that's all it that matters. That's all I care. I, I don't care what you believe in. As long as you express it the way you want to, that's fine. But just remember, other people have different beliefs. And accept those as well. Oh, well. Allergies is starting to kick up high and I'm about to throw a hellacious sneeze. So with that being said, I'm going to say thank you very much. Hopefully I got all the ranting off my chest. Probably not. But anyway, talk to you later.